Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. I want to talk about the Blitz Cup. It's a chance to firstly watch the very top of the game struck their stuff in an extremely competitive esports tournament. But it's also the chance for the entire player base to get their grubby little paws on some freebies. I mean, what's not to like? Well, from what I can tell, many out there are not overly happy with the Blitz Cup event. Especially the way to get the rewards, but also the timings involved. La 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 la. Before I get into all of that, let's not forget that the Blitz Cup is not actually about getting our paws on freebies. That's merely a bonus that Wargaming have offered us. The whole idea behind the Blitz Cup is to showcase the best clans, the best teams and the best players on each server in a competitive esports event, where the teams can win quite a considerable sum of real life cash. The Blitz Cup isn't the desired event that Wargaming actually wanted. It's replaced, temporarily, the Twister offlines due to the Covid situation. Now Twister is totally different to Blitz Cup insofar as the top teams do not get to compete regionally against the other top teams from the same server, but they get to fight it out internationally, with the teams from each server being invited to a single location, and thus all are in the same place at the same time on the same internet. Now that's not to say I don't like the Blitz Cup, that would be a total lie, I think the Blitz Cup is fantastic and a truly amazing stand-in for the Twister offlines, because it at least allows the best teams regionally to try and win some real life cash in an esports event that they've worked hard to get to. Obviously there is a downside with having four regional cups for the teams, and that is the overall prize money has to be split across four servers, unlike Twister, which is one big event. When you consider that each region has $50,000 up for grabs, that means the total prize funding for this event is $200,000. Not a small amount of money at all when you consider it. However, let's be honest here. Some, if not most, of the player base isn't actually interested in the esports side of the game, which is actually a shame because some of the moves and the gameplays that are made are truly awesome to watch. Plus, getting to watch the very best in the game roll out against each other can be a fantastically good learning curve. Thing is, it's the rewards that most of us are after, and boy, have I seen shed loads of complaints about this, ranging from things not working to the timing being inconvenient. Well, let's explore these just a little. I'm not going to lie. Yes, there can be issues with the portal, although myself personally, I haven't experienced any issues as yet. I know that on day one, the portal appeared to go down and obviously things like that aren't helpful. I understand that Wargaming fixed that issue pretty quickly, but still it does have an overall impact. Technical issues always crop up and can to an extent be expected. And um, whilst we suffer from these technical issues, let's not forget, it's not one single stream that gives you these rewards. In fact, there are eight streams in total during the month of November. So there's still plenty of opportunity for you to get your grubby little paws on the super cups and the flames and the things needed to get a free tank. Thing is, whilst there are some technical issues, there are still many out there who are not following the instructions, and thus missing out on the rewards and, at the same time, complaining. In order to help you out, I will tell you how to actually get the most out of the portal. Firstly, you need to log into your region's official World of Tanks Blitz website. Each region, EU, RU, APAC and NA, all have their own official World of Tanks Blitz website. Now, if you don't know it, just type it into Google, World of Tanks Blitz, enter your region, tournaments, and Google should give you a hit. Failing that, just type in worldoftanksblitz.com and you will find the tournaments that way. 
Once there, log in using your in-game name. Now this is important because if you're on the wrong region, then obviously it won't work. Now if you're going via the worldoftanksblitz.com side, you will be prompted to choose your region. So choose the right one at least. Once logged in, you then need to accept all cookies. If you don't accept the cookies, you will be presented with a grey screen and nobody can help you out there. Well, not until you refresh and finally accept the cookies. With the cookies accepted, you should be seeing a video and you will notice on the right side the rewards that you can get. They're all listed. And what appears to be a timer. Now, if like me you are on a PC, you will see that there are two tabs. And one of those tabs, the furthest on the right, says yours. Now, contrary to popular belief, the timer this time is not like the countdown timers we used to have, or that we had in previous events. And as such, well, it's there kind of, but not like what we're used to. Now, the thing is, to get all the rewards, and I mean all of them, you will need to actually have seen the entire stream, somewhere in the region of three and a half hours. And because of that, you won't see the traditional timer. The yours tab then becomes important because the super cups and the flames are the only rewards I can think of that tick over every 30 minutes or so. And clicking onto the yours tab shows you how many you've currently earned in the time you've been watching. All the other rewards, the avatars, the boosters, etc., etc., only come if you watch the entire stream. The other thing that you must, under all circumstances, remember is you need to keep the portal window active. If you click onto another tab or something like that, then the portal becomes inactive and the timer pauses and it will only reactivate once the portal is active again and you'll be prompted to reactivate it. Many of you have been thinking that you just need to log in and go away, but no, you must have that portal active throughout the entire stream. Equally important is that many of you seem to think that watching via YouTube will also gain you the rewards. Well, it doesn't. The portal window is a direct link to the YouTube stream. Okay, you won't be able to comment or do such things that you can on YouTube, but if you watch the stream directly from YouTube, you're not gonna get the reward. It's that simple. The streamer has no control over the rewards and Wargaming has no control over YouTube. So if you're not on the official portal, then no rewards for you. Finally, and equally as important, you will not get the rewards instantly. You have to wait a little bit of time. Rewards only come once the stream has actually ended in any event. So don't expect them instantly, guys. If you follow these simple instructions, then you shouldn't have an issue with getting those rewards. Obviously, if there are technical issues, by all means, accumulate the evidence and send something to support. Why not? So those are the basic instructions. The thing is, there are still six streams left where you can grab these rewards. All the remaining streams happen on both a Thursday and a Friday throughout the rest of November, with the next region being CISRU. That stream is going to take place this week, this Thursday and this Friday. Now, I know a lot of people have complained about the timings, but here's the thing. The timing of the event is not to make it convenient for us to get the rewards, but actually make it convenient for the players who are playing in the darn event. Many of you out there seem to think that Wargaming are somehow trying to stiff you by listing the event times um, to being inconvenient for certain time zones. All the events are listed in the time zones that are convenient to the region and that region alone. You are being offered the chance to grab some freebies, but the event is not about you or the free stuff you can grab. You want a free tank? By all means. I am going to, I'm not gonna debate that, but you've gotta put a little bit of effort in yourself. 
It's not like you actually need to sit and watch the full stream. You just need to have the portal open and you can get on with your own life. In other words, stop being so selfish and try to consider that this event is actually about the tournament and it's not about you and your ability to grab a freebie. Anyway, that is all you really need to know about the Blitz Cup and how to get those rewards. And I hope to see many of you in the next few days when the CISRU Blitz Cup Tour begins. Until then, I've been Fujit. I hope that's been helpful. And I, uh, I would like to say the following. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because, guys, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.